Yep. Right. <laughs> and we are live from Tuskegee Softball Field getting set for the going into the top of the second inning here. Apologies for technical difficulties and getting on a little bit late, but what you missed is Tuskegee scored two in the bottom of the first to take a 2 nothing lead as we go into the top of the second here at Tuskegee Softball. Field. glad you could join us on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Charles Ward here with the story as Tuskegee Softball's on his way. Double header here against the Magicians of Lamar Owens College. Already Tuskegee with a 2 nothing lead. We go into the top of the second. It'll be Nigel Moore, Caleb Banton, and Alexis Vigil, the three batters for Lamar Owens to start the top of the second inning. Tuskegee at the bottom of the first inning. Tiana Rector, she got on on a single, and then she was pushed across with Morales. She stole the base down to second. Morales was able to get on on an error at shortstop, and then Chadwick came on with a single to drive in Rector and Morales to get the two that Tuskegee has now. As we get set for second inning action, first pitch on the way to Moore, and that's fouled off right side. On the mound, four. The Golden Tigers, familiar face of Kamaya Hampton, the senior from Pittston, Alabama. Hampton, 11 and 6. One loss record coming into the day's ball game. Pitch there, chopped on and bounced at the plate for strike two. Hampton on the season, 86 strikeouts. She recorded one in the first inning against the Magicians, so 87 on the season for her as she gets set to go back to work now. Up in the count, 0 and 2. Change of pitch there by Hampton. Doesn't find the spot. A little bit high in the zone. So make it one and two to Moore. Moore, the senior from New Market, Alabama. She is batting 361 for the Lady Magicians. 16 total bases at one RBI on the season. This one just off the corner and played called for strike three by umpire James Walden. So second K of the ball game for Hampton. And it comes at the top of the second inning against Moore. That'll bring up Kayla Hamp Banton, the senior from Memphis, Tennessee. Banton today playing at first base for the Magicians. Versatile player also plays center field for Lamar Owen as well. Banton 222 on the season from the plate, 6 of 27. Took the first pitch for a strike. Slow change up there by Hampton. Finds the mark as well. She's ahead of the count 0-2 to Banton. Banton, 14 strikeouts on this season. Leads the team and sacrifice hits as she takes one on the corner for strike three. So Hampton making quick work there at Banton on three pitches. Records a third strikeout of this ball game. Alexis Vigil now, third baseman, will step into the box for the Magicians. Kamaya, first pitch to her. Slow change, finds the mark again. Hampton has got up 117 hits on the regular season. Cox and fires there. That one low and off the plate. One and one to... Vigil. Bottom of the second, Tuskegee will have Rodan, Harrison, and Strange Lindley coming to the plate. Hampton, bullseye on that one, straight down the middle of the fastball. One and two the count. Hampton trying to get back into that Tuskegee dugout as soon as she can. Trying to see if she can't finish Vigil here with this pitch. One, two on the way. Change up, popped out to center field. That one's going to get down in the gap between the center and right field. So a good piece of hitting there by Vigil to stay in that count. And she's aboard with the first hit of the ball game for the Magicians of Lamont Owen. So that'll bring up Kennedy Brownlee, probably the second baseman for the Magicians. Freshman from Clarksdale, Mississippi. Takes the first old pitch over from Hampton for a strike. Good velocity on that pitch there by Kamaya. Vigil down at first base. On with a single. A 
another good pitch there by Hampton. The curveball floating off the plate there as Broadley can't catch up with it. 0-2 pitch from Hampton. Rocks, fires, same position, strikeout number three. So she struck out the side, gave up the one-hit to Vigil, but no damage done on that. She's left at first base. We turn our attention to the bottom of the second. Tuskegee leads it 2-0. Again, Tuskegee will have Rodan, Harrison, and Strange Lindley coming to the plate to start the bottom of the second. For Tuskegee, the way they're lining up out in the field, it's Rodan behind the plate, Kamaya Hampton on the mound, Jessica Morales at third, Carol Ross at shortstop, Jada Chadwick at second, and Katie Harris at first. In the outfield, right to left, it's Tadaya Rector at right, Victoria Harrison at center, and Nyla Strangely Lindley occupying left field for Coach Dietrich Randall and the Golden Tigers of Tuskegee. Coach Randall in his fourth campaign. Tuskegee on the season. 16 and 17 and 6 and 4 in SIAC play. We got down to sixth in the order through that first inning of play. Rodan, Harrison, and Strange Lindley will be 6, 7, 8, 9 and back to the top with Dunham. On the mound for the Magicians of Memorial. Oh, and it's their ace, Angel Contreras. Contreras, a sophomore from Denver, Colorado. High ERA of 8.9. In her 10th appearance for the Magicians this season. 1 and 8 on the season. One loss for her. So Tuskegee looking to take advantage of what they have in terms of a series against the Magicians. Have never lost to Lamorto in its softball. 23-0. First pitch taken by Rodan, and that's a strike. And the count even now at one and one after that one falls off the plate. The left-hander, Kaylee Rodan, back in the box. Junior from Hawaii, averaging 265 hitting. Tries to slap that one left side, but out of play. Out to one and two for Rodan. Breezy afternoon here in Tuskegee. Temperature right around 63 degrees. Winds pushing at about 15, 16 miles per hour. As Rodan takes that pitch off the plate for ball two. Another chopping swing there by Rodan. Finds a screen just behind us. And she will get back in the box with a two and two count. On base percentage for Old Dan, she leads the team at 375. Here's a two two pitch to her. Chopped at it and fall back again. Tuskegee has a team batting 254. 217 hits coming into today's play. Magicians of the board. Oh, it's 1 and 12 overall and 1 and 9 in the SIAC. That's going to be chopped out to shortstop and filled it on the fly. So Rodan retired after a line out to the shortstop. That'll bring up Victoria Harris for Tuskegee. Harris in the center fielder, senior from Hamilton, Mississippi. Takes the first pitch inside for ball one. Tight pitch. Contreras can't find the plate on that one. That'll make it 0. Two balls, no strikes on Harrison. Harrison with 11 RBI on the season. Takes that pitch, but this time called the strike. So the count to 1 and 2 now. Right, one, two balls, one strike on Harrison as she steps back in the box. Contreras fires. This one way inside, almost clipping the legs of Harrison. That'll make it three and one. Harrison's drawn nine walks on the season. 
almost hit by a pitch there. That one's going to sail high for ball four. So Harris on the board with the walk. And that'll bring up Lila Strange Lindley. Lindley, the left fielder. Swings up first pitch. And that one back to the screen. No contact. That was a ball. So down to second base goes Harris. And ball one on Strange Lindley. That one popped up on the end or to the pitcher or grounded right out to Contreras inside the circle. She feels and throws the first to retire. Strange Lindley. So two down here at the bottom of the second for Tuskegee. Over to third base of the throw goes Harrison. So she's set there and the ground ball sharply down left side but just wide of third base. Back at the top of the order, Pete Dunham, designated player for Tuskegee. Down at the count after that hard hit ball down the left side. Contreras' pitch is off the mark. Outside, we'll take it to one and one. Harris at third. Pitch there, chop back to the mound. Contreras feels that. Another easy play over the third to first base to retire Tuskegee in the bottom of the second. So Dunham retired one to three, and we'll take a break here. Tuskegee two, nothing lead over the Lady Magicians. More softball action ahead on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. with a 2 nothing lead over the Magicians of Lamar Owens College. Angel Contreras, the pitcher for the Lady Magicians in the box. Already behind in the count, 0-1. Hampton rocks and fires, low pitch, but Contreras bit on it, comes up empty. So she's down in the count, 0-2. Contreras, 120 batting average. That one off the plate, but she couldn't resist that one as well. It's a strikeout of Contreras. Fifth of the ball game for Hampton for Tuskegee. That'll bring up Janiah Clemens. Clemens, the center filter, butts at one chopped and foul behind plate, behind plate. Suffering from the plate as well. 3 of 29. That 103 batting average for the Magicians. Curveball. She did go after that one. It was out of the zone, but she was trying to butt her way on. Clemens was, but she missed the pitch. One down. No 0 and 2 count on Clemens. Top of the third. Hampton in the circle, rocks and fires. It's called. Strike three. 
Foul the corner of the plate with that pitch. Six strike out of the ball game for Hampton. Two down here at top of the third. Back to the top of the order. Kelby Harvey. Harvey grounded out to the pitcher last time up to lead start the ball game. Starts this bat off with a strike down the middle from Hampton. Same result. Hampton just finding the zone here early in this ball game. 0-2 count on Harvey. That one just a little bit off the plate, and Harvey able to hold off of that one. Top of the third, Hampton's only given one hit in this ball game to the Magicians. That was my vigil in the first inning. Foul ball off to the right and out of play. Harvey steps back in, down in the count, what did two. Hampton sets, fires, slow curve there, but that one's off the mark. High in the zone, count goes to two and two. Two-two pitch, that one chopped on the ground, rolled foul to first. And Harvey trying to stay alive. Hampton trying to put her away to close out the top of the third. She already had two strikeouts here. Trying to see if she can't finish off Harvey the same way. 2-2 two -two pitch. Curve ball popped up. This was going to be called for by Jada Chadwick at second base. She'll squeeze it there. And that is out number three for the Magicians here in the top of the third. So they go 1-2-3 in the third. Tuskegee coming to the plate with a 2 nothing lead. We'll take a break here on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Rector, Morales, and Chadwick do up for Tuskegee here at the bottom of the third inning. Rector singled her last time up. Takes the first pitch, butts it, but it goes behind the plate foul. Uh, Rector, 297 batting average for the Golden Tigers. Six RBI on the season, 32 total, 32 total bases for her on the campaign to see Conway, Arkansas. That's that one. Pass by outside of the box. Count goes to one and one. Director in that left hand batter's box. Just that little slapping butt attempt to try to get the ball started. As that one's off the plate for two and one. Wind speed for Tuskegee. That one's high and out of the zone as well. Three and one to count now on Rector. Rector 13 stolen bases on the campaign, slugging percentage of 352. 
And there to start the top of the third, Tuskegee with a 2 nothing lead. That one off the plate, Wreck Rector's drawn the walk to begin things here at the top of the third for the Golden Tigers. So she's aboard. And here comes third baseman Jessica Morales to the plate. Morales doubles that shortstop as well, but this is the third today in the lineup. And going immediately is Rector on the first pitch. She's in at second base. Chadwick do up next. Morales. 1-0 count. Swings and drops one deep left field, but way out of play behind the Tuskegee dugout. Kicking up here inside Tuskegee softball field. American flag now in center field just blowing to our right. Then it'll shift back to the left. Now it's blowing straight out. Here's the pitch. This one swung on the ground and wide of third again. Foul ball by Rector Morales. Jessica. Rector down at second base. Change up, drilled out to center field. On the run now, catch made out in center field. Nicely done there by Janaya Clements, but that's an opportunity for Rector to slide over to third base. So sacrifice fly there for Morales, and that pushes Rector over the third. Chadwick to the plate now. Jada leads the team in batting at 302. Pokes one out on the left field wide of the line, but they call the foul ball and dropped out there in foul territory. So we'll reset it. Long strike there for Jada. Trying to pick up that RBI with Rector down at third base. Chadwick, 26 RBI on the season. She leads the team. Takes a pitch and she's hitting the back on that one. So she'll get the pass to first base on the hit pitch. Hit, hit the batsman. So she's down at first. And still at third is Rector. Katie Harris down to the plate. also a pitcher for Tuskegee but playing first today and off to second base Chadwick gets that uncontested steal there Harris looks at that pitch coming her way now 0-2 after that one missed off the plate high Slapped beyond the third base and in the gap. And that'll score Rector. And that will push Chadwick over to third base on the single left side by Harris. So she's at first. She'll pick up the RBI with Rector scoring. And over to third now. The second base. Uncontested throw there at Harris. So just keep with a 3 0 lead now. And Carolyn Ross at the plate. Ross, the freshman from Whittier, California, transferred from Concordia College into Tuskegee. What a what count to Carol. That one's poked out the right field. Might find the gap, and it will. It'll roll all the way to the fence line, and that will send Chadwick home, and that will also bring home Harris on a stand-up double there by Carolyn Ross. So Ross with the two-bagger clears the bases. And Tuskegee now with a 
five nothing lead. This is a team that they have not lost to in the Magicians of the Lord Owens. Good start for Tuskegee at the top of the third. This one up the middle and through on a base hit there. That's Kaylee Rodan with that single. And that will push Ross over the third. And Rodan is aboard. One down for Tuskegee trying to add more to the 5 0 lead. Down the second goes Rodan uncontested. Harrison at the plate, the senior from Hamilton, Mississippi. Swings at one over the head of the third baseman. That was a fair ball. It was touched in the field of play. So that will score Ross from third. Roll Dad will take her place at third base. And down to second base. Give that an error. That did touch up. That was a catchable ball at third base there by Alexis Vigil. score that as an error. So that'll have Harrison at second and Rodan at third for Tuskegee. As Coach Tiara Hill comes to the hall, comes to the mound for the Magicians. They huddle there briefly, talking to pitcher Angel Contreras. Just to get on that was first base with Kaylor Bant. And at the plate for Tuskegee now. Strange Lindley back in the box. Just a little ground out to the mound or a circle there by Strange Lindley, her first time up. Chance here with a couple of runners in front of her to get a couple of RBI. Swings that one, pops it up. That one's going to go to left field, circling up under it and squeezing it for the catch. And a throw coming to the plate. It's a bit off line, so scoring is Roll Dad from third. And over to third goes Victoria Harrison on the fly out to left field by Strange Lindley. So she does her job. She'll pick up an RBI for that. Two down here in the bottom of the third. Tuskegee with the seven nothing bulge now. Had to play back at the top of the lineup. Now it's Dunham. Dunham looking for her first hit of the ball game. Swings at that pitch. Base is cleared for the moment for Tuskegee. up the middle and through for the base hit. Turning at third base, headed toward the plate. Throw is going to be high. And crossing the plate for the Golden Tigers is Peyton Dunham to score here in the third inning. Rector, her second trip through the lineup in this inning. There was, in there with a is that a double for her? That ball got through the infield. Throw to the plate was high and late. And Jessica Morales in the box 
course now for Tuskegee. with a two and two count. So Tuskegee has batted around here in the third. Morales waits. That one's on the inside as she took a hit there to the left thigh. So second hit batsman by Contreras in this baseball softball game. And that will bring Chadwick back to the plate. She was the first one to be hit by a pitch. First pitch taken there by Chadwick gets in for a strike. Rector at third and down to second base. Now Morales, after that strike, throw to Chadwick. That one caught up the left field and down for a hit. That'll roll all the way to the fence. It will score Rector and it will score Morales. And standing at second base, it's a double by Chadwick. So Chadwick with that double. That's her 12th double of the season. Leads Tuskegee in that category. She scores Rector and Morales. box now Katie Harris Harris singled her last time up it swings at this pitch pop up right side and it'll fall out of play catcher Graves at first base but Bent gave it a look but not able to get there so Harris now down in the count 0 and 2 here at the bottom of the third Two pitch that's fouled wide of third base. Chadwick's down at second base after she doubled and brought in two additional runs for Tuskegee. This one chopped on third base line again, wide of the bag. A 474 batting average. This one popped up and out of play just to our right. Number 19 from the plate for Harris, the freshman from Silicaga, Alabama. Seven RBI for her. Chopper on the ground and shortstop bobble momentarily fires across the diamond and not in time. Legging that one out was Harris on the bobble and short by Kelly Har Kelby Harvey. Would have been a bang bang play either way. Not sure if Harvey would have gotten there had she filled it out with cleanly. So Chadwick scores. This was hit deep to center field. And this was going to be played and back into the infield. Got over the head of the center fielder. So Tuskegee just pulling on the runs now and at the plate. Ahead of that one. Over the third goes Harris. 
Chadwick scored. So the catcher gave her all day in now. Chance to bring in an additional run. She fouls this one off right side behind the magician dugout. Tuskegee's already pushed across nine runs here in the bottom of the third. This one swung on and deep play at shortstop. Fires across the diamond. Good play there at short by Kelby Harvey to finally end this inning for the Magicians of Lamont Owen. But Tuskegee with a big bottom of the third. They come up with nine there and they lead it 12 nothing over the Magicians of Lamont Owen's College. We'll take a break here on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Here at the, soft, the softball field here at Tuskegee University, going to the top of the fourth now for the Magicians of Lamoro. They have a lot of makeup work to do. Tuskegee at the top of the fourth. This one chopped on the ground. It will stay fair and field it there at first base by Katie Harris with the easy out. So Chambers retired just to squib the first base. Start things here at the top of the fourth. Zaya Graves, the catcher in the box now for the Magicians. Kamaya Hampton at squares and fires that pitch low at the plate. Hampton's only given up one base hit in this ball game so far. That one chopped out the right field coming on and that'll fall. Chasing was Rector, but ran out, couldn't get to that one quick enough. That was a dying shot to right field, and Graves is aboard. Second hit of the ball game now for the Magicians. Elijah Moore, the left fielder, set the square up in the box for the Lady Magicians. And Tuskegee with a meeting at the mound. Let's go to Randall. He's talking to umpire James Walden down the line. Looks like it's going to try to maybe make a substitution here. Not sure exactly what the conference is about. It's not a substitution. It's more probably looks like it's something with the book. Players coming in and out of the lineup. Moore will be at the plate for the Magicians, the senior. 361 batting average. Graves at first base for the Magicians. Hampton rocks and fires. This was the first pitch is swung on down the line, right side, and out of play behind the Magicians bench. Senior from Pittston out of, out of Pama in the circle for Tuskegee. Fires that one's just a bit off the plate. 
still with good velocity on her pitches. One and one to count out the bore. That one poked out to right field. That'll get down for a hit as well. Cutting it off is Harrison from center field, but over to third goes Graves. And down the second goes Moore. So Graves, she got a board on a hit. And now that's followed by Moore with her shot out the right field, and she's down at second base. She had support magicians to pick up a run here in the top of the fourth. Kayla Banton in the box now for the Magicians. Hampton butt it there at the, the first to get the runner there. Throw to the plate off the line and the Magicians will score. Banton with kind of a hitting butt there just out front of the mound down the first base line. And she'll get the RBI as Graves scores and over to third goes Moore. And Banton with the sacrifice. Pick up the RBI. Vigil at the plate. Hampton. This pitch here fouled off right side by Vigil. Two down here at the top of the fourth. Skeegee with the 12-1 lead. Pitch inside and tight off the plate, though. Count two and one to Vigil now. Change up pitch on the inside, fouled off, fought off there by Vigil. A little good pitch there from Kabaya. Two and two now on Vigil. Hampton, comfortable lead, fires that one low, fouled off. Good pitch there, Vigil just got a piece of that to stay alive. Moore positioned at third base for the Magicians. Two pitch to Vigil, two and two pitch. Swung on at best. Got the thrower out at first base, but it'll go out as a strikeout to retire the side. So Vigil strikes out. The Magicians come across the plate with one run. Graves scored that one. Tuskegee leads it 12 1 as we go to the bottom of the fourth right after this timeout on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Tuskegee with a 12-1 lead over the Magicians of Memorial Woods College. Coming to the plate, Victoria Harris for Tuskegee to get things started here in the bottom of the fourth. Harrison looking for her first hit of the ball game. Scored in the second inning. Got a board on a base on ball, so she takes this first pitch here from Contreras for a strike.
Harris, 217 batting average on the season. Pops one up straight away, center field, backpedaling now. Got a battle against the wind. And the catch is made out in center field by Janaya Clemens for the Magicians to retire Harris. So one down here, bottom of the fourth. Isla Strange Lindley set to step in the box now for Coach Randall and Tuskegee. Flew out the left field last time up. I think it was good enough to drive in a run for Strange Lindley and Tuskegee, though. Takes the first pitch for a ball. This one she popped out to left center field deep and tracking it that one all the way to the fence. On the fly, down at second base is Isla Strange Lindley with a double for the Golden Tigers. Isla just waiting on her pitch. Saw it, jumped right on it, drove it to the fence. So she's down at second. First down to the third base line. And a rule safe there on the steal was Lindley. at the plate, down the first base, throw there, safe at first, taking a hard fall down at first base was Jalen Rhodes. Rhodes inserted into that Tuskegee lineup, batting at Peyton Dunham's place at the top of the lineup. And Rhodes beats out a throw, and she's aboard at first base. And she will pick up the RBI, driving in straight Lindley from third. So Rhodes, the freshman from LaGrange, just onto the field, already making a strong contribution with that RBI. Tyana Rector now back in the box for Tuskegee. Rector doubled in the fourth. Swings one to the shortstop field. That they're going to have a double play back the other way, though. Sharply hit ball. Rector hit it right to the shortstop. So that will go 6 3 on that double play. And that'll retire the side for Tuskegee at the bottom of the fourth, but they come away with another run to lead it 13 1 as we head into the fifth inning here at Tuskegee's off ball field. We'll take a break on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. And we're back live here at Tuskegee's off ball field, headed into the top of the fifth. Tuskegee with a 13-1 lead over the Magicians of Lamar Orange College. At the plate for the Magicians, first baseman or off there, eighth, that's uh, Kennedy Brownlee, second baseman in the box. Top of the fifth, Brownlee struck out her last time up. But this one coming charging throw to third first base nicely done there by the Jessica Morales from third base charging the line for that bunt threw a bullet to first for the first out good play there from third that'll bring up the pitcher Contreras and she takes a look at a first pitch strike Hampton with a solid performance for Tuskegee. 
That was just a bit off the plate there, called by James Walden behind the plate. Count to one and one on Contreras. Swung on, missed there, good pitch there from Hampton. Stayed right there in line with the plate, right till it got there, a little slight break off the plate. Contreras can't catch up with that one. Count to one and two. That one tried to bait Contreras a little bit farther off the plate. She was able to lay off of that one. Seven strikeouts of the game for Hampton. Trying to set up the opposition pitcher to become the eighth. That one chopped off by Contreras' right side. She'll stay alive. So the Magicians here, top of the fifth. They've got to push across a few more runs to keep this ball game going. Good change up there by him that just froze Contreras for a strikeout. Number eight in the game. Good pitch selection there. Gassed her up on the outside and it came back with a soft change on the inside for out number two. Janiah Clemens, center fielder now in the plate. Plate now for the Magicians. Takes the first pitch, but it and knocked down right at the plate for strike one. First of two here on Saturday afternoon on the Tuskegee campus. Clemens, victim of a strikeout in the top of the third. Hampton Rocks fires. Good change up there. Must be low on that one. Count to one and one. Pace of that pitch just a little bit further. This one off the plate. Now the count to two and one against Clemens. Morales tight at third base. And so is Harris at first. Pitch butted, fouled right back our way. Count to two and two now. Clemens now. Trying to keep the magicians in this softball game. They trail it 13 to one. They fight for that 10 run rule after five. Hampton with the pitch. Swing on a miss there by Clemens. And that'll do it for this ball game. Tuskegee with an easy wrap in game number one here from Tuskegee softball field. They win this first contest 13 to one over the Magicians of the Orleans College. Nine strikeouts recorded by Kamaya Hampton and another win for the Golden Tigers. So Hampton, she will take her season mark to 12 and six after this win. And that was her 19th complete or 11th complete ball game for Tuskegee on the season. So Tuskegee now 17 and 17 and 7 and 4 in the SIAC, but just as at 1 and 13 and 1 and 10 after this loss. More softball action just ahead here on the Tuskegee campus on the Golden Tiger Sports Network. Stay with us.